the Eiffel Tower is destroyed, one of the most romantic and recognizable symbols of the world and Europe is gone now and forever. This means that your boyfriend will not propose you beneath it anymore. Perhaps he doesn't want to propose anyway. But maybe it has a bigger meaning than all of that. The pyramids in Egypt are also damaged. The Sphinx too. Do you think the Egypt is the same without the pyramid? Is Paris the same without the Eiffel Tower? Imagine Italy without the Colosseum, the Pantheon, or even the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Imagine India without Taj Mahal, or China without the Great Wall. Are there more to these monuments than just old bricks? Don't these monuments have a bigger meaning to all of us? Isn't the way we identify nowadays a country with its position in world history? a way of identifying a country and the whole population. Usually, people preserve their culture to preserve their collective memory with their past and tradition. It is also common belief that our culture works as roots that connect us with our past and works towards the future of our communities. Now I want you all to close your eyes for five seconds and think about the most beautiful place you have ever been on. A place that means a lot to you, a part of your identity. And I will do the same with you. Imagine it doesn't exist anymore. It's destroyed. It's gone. This is what comes to my mind when I close my eyes. This is where I'm from. And this is how it used to look like a couple of years ago. This is how it looks like right now. I think very few people here might recognize what used to be Syria before, what used to be Aleppo. A very few is left to identify the country. And soon nothing will be left to identify it at all. If I mention the word Syria to you, what, my, what comes first images to your mind? Terror attacks, killing, blood, suffering, and so on. I wonder what you have might thought of Syria before 2011, before the civil war starts. Syria was, is, and will always remain a very big part of human history. Syria is known to be one of the oldest cradle of civilization. A clay form written a, a tablet of clay form written in a coniform language has been found in the western of Syria, offered us the first ordering of the letter, which is known today as the alphabet, A, B, C. The secret of alphabet, agriculture, religion, trade, were all born in Syria. Syria is used to be known as the fountainhead of western civilization, a land saturated with history. The former director of the Louvre Museum, André Parot, has once said, everybody has two hometowns, his own and Syria. But today, I have a very bad news for you, that our cultural heritage is under attack in Syria, Iraq, Yemen, Afghanistan, and so on. Cultural heritage is destroyed to finance terror. Individuals are victimized on a global scale, on a global, in a religious and cultural domain, and cultural diversity is targeted. The destruction of culture has become an instrument of terror in a global scale to weaken society, propagate intolerance, and erase memories. This cultural cleansing is a war crime that is used nowadays as a tactic of war to tear humanity from the history we share. There is a good reason to feel powerless and angry when we see such a pictures coming from Palmyra in Syria, dynamited, destroyed, and a big part of a human history 
is lost. We have seen several same tactics and same strategies to destroy our common heritage. A lot of people here might remember what, have, what has happened in Afghanistan a couple of years ago. 150 feet high statues of Buddha has been dynamited, teared into sand. The Taliban did so in Afghanistan. They did so because they knew the power of culture to bring people together, carry values, identities, and the sense of belonging. They knew the power of culture as the source of resilience, resistance, and offers people ways during conflict time, a ways to look at future with hope. Today, ISIS is doing the same, putting propaganda videos online, willing to spread hatred all over the world, willing to target vulnerable young women and men with the attempt to radicalize them. ISIS is willing to present our next generation, our children, a new version of history. Cultural heritage is built on the idea that cultural and natural monuments that you and I must protect together. The destruction of Palmyra or Buddha is not only a loss for Syria or Afghanistan, it's loss for all of us. Cultural heritage does not exist. This is what the extremists said once they arrived to Mali 2011 and destroyed its mausoleums and the city of Timbuktu, one of the cities that listed on the UNESCO World Heritage Site list. But today the mausoleums are rebuilt again with the help of a local people and the world experts. So, yes, cultural heritage does exist. We are all responsible about restoring and protecting these monuments. Restoring and protecting is not only a handwork. It is also a message in dialogue, tolerance, and peace. Every woman and man here and outside has the power to voice this message. Schools, museums, art houses, civil society, politics, and the media are all responsible about sharing these values because these monuments are who we are. Twelve years ago, 2005, the National, the National Museum of Iraq in Baghdad has been looted, destroyed, and again, a big part of a human history was lost. Twelve years later, and this year, the museum has opened its door again. For everybody, there is a better way to show how culture can bring people together and overcome hatred. ISIS and everybody who act like ISIS, they should know that everything they destroy, we will be ready to repair it again because our heritage and culture are the, are the legacy and evidence of our past. The, extremi the extremists should not have the last word and they should know that everything they blow up we will be ready to restore it again and again and again. Just as the destruction can be used as a weapon to destroy the common things we used to share, its preservation and protection can be used as a tool for healing, peace and comfort. But now I have a good news for you. Then thanks to your help, thanks for mine, and thanks for sharing the values of these monuments. The pyramids and the Eiffel Tower are rebuilt again. Paris will remain the city of love, and I hope your boyfriend will propose you there again. Thank you. <laughs>